who am I? That simple question has plagued me for years. At 15, I knew who I was. An intelligent, popular, fun-loving, and outgoing girl. But all that changed when I was 16. A surgery that lasted just over 60 minutes took away my sense of self, my identity, and my self-worth. That act of professional callousness paralyzed my vocal cords and took away my ability to speak and breathe without the aid of a tube. Subsequently, I had three more surgeries in Nigeria, each one leaving me worse than the first. Every time I woke up yet after another surgery and opened my mouth to make a sound that nothing was heard, I died some more. I was literally and figuratively voiceless. When I think about this point in my life, I think of a quote by writer Laurie House Anderson. When people don't express themselves, they die one piece at a time. This is not an all sad story, because as I waddled my way through those very dark times, Asha was preparing to be born. In its early stage, Asha was a support group I founded with a few women and teenage girls about my age who have had similar surgeries and were having a harder time coping with the aftermath than I. Using the internet and social media, I sought out other survivors of medical callousness. With my pen and the stroke of my keyboard, I spoke strongly, even without functioning vocal cords. The internet gave me back my voice. That support group I founded in 2004 has now grown into an international non-governmental organization. Drawing strength from women and girls who, like me, are often lost and forgotten, without a sense of belonging, who do have experienced some of the most inhuman acts known to womanhood, are determined yet to transform their pain and misfortunes into something beautiful, something inspiring, into hope, life, for those who otherwise will become victims of the same injustices. These women, no one cares for their solutions, no one wants to hear their stories, no one wants to listen to their voices. Because of poverty, illiteracy, structural inequality and disability, they struggle each day with their sense of self-worth and identity. They would like to engage with the elected officials. They would like to draw the world's attention to their challenges. They would like the world to see how they use local resources to solve some of the problems in their communities. But they can't. Many of these women have graduated from Asha Shiro's Academy and have been empowered to start small businesses. Online stores will avail them the opportunity to sell their handmade craft to a broader audience. Giving these women access to the internet will give them a voice, just like it gave me my voice. And this is what drives me. I want to create digital literacy hubs in rural communities, safe places where women and girls can connect and share their stories with the world. The internet is a leveler, and it is only fair that women and girls have unhindered access to it. And it will surprise you to know that the UN now considers it a human right. Who am I? I am the Global Programs Director of Project ASHA, a 2016 Mandela Washington Fellow, a 2015 Global Change Leaders Fellow, a 2015 United States Institute of Peace Generation Change Fellow, a 2013 Leap Africa Social Innovators Award recipient, a 2013 Carity Youth Fellow of the U.S. Consulate General Lagos, a 2013 to 2015 World Pulse Voices of Our Future Correspondent, a volunteer facilitator for Amnesty International since 2013, 
the Secretary General of the Carnegie Youth Fellow Alumni Network. And I call myself beside Chelsea Clinton as a Mogul influencer. The internet opened me up to these opportunities. The internet spotlights my loud voice. The internet spotlights my not so loud voice. The internet is the most inclusive space I know, a place where my writings are louder than the loudest screams. So who am I? I am a woman with a vision to imagine a future where every woman has the agency to lead her life and live her truth. Every time I close my eyes, I dream this world. I see women and girls like me connecting through digital literacy hubs, cafes and stores. I consciously walk towards this world every moment I am awake. And I would like good people from all over the world to join in this good cause. My name is Veta Chadwick. Thank you.